All right, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a real quick way to get your alphabet letters into a quick collage format so that you can form your word. So you can see what I've got open here is a Google slide and I've labeled it alphabet soup and my first and last name. So because I'm going to eventually print this, what I want to do is go to page setup, go to widescreen, custom, we're going to make this the size of a piece of printer paper. So that's 11 by eight and a half inches. You're going to click OK, and that'll change just the shape of your slide. Um, I don't need a title or a subtitle, so I can delete that so that I just have a blank slide. So all I'm going to do next is take my photos. You can see them over here, and I'm going to drag them and put them into my slide. Now obviously we don't want them arranged that way, we want them kind of across horizontally. So what I'm going to do is just click on one, hold my shift button down and shrink this so that it stays even. I'll put this guy next to it and this one here. Okay, so obviously you don't want a lot of overlapping. So again, what I'm gonna do is keep shrinking these until they fit. And that there's a little bit of space in between my photos. It doesn't have to be a ton of space, but we want a little bit of space. Also, if you can kind of see where this red guideline is showing up, that's gonna show me that this is directly in the center. So it's okay that your pictures are not all the same size. It's sort of kind of the beauty of this collage. Now, because I only have three letters, this is a little easier. But I'm going to take my center letter and I'm going to center it directly on the middle of my page. So you can see I've got that red X in the center. And then I should be able to shrink and do this kind of accordingly. So I'm going to shrink my T just a little bit. Just play around with it until it makes you happy. So it works and then that should be pretty much it. 